Yo, what's cracking everyone? Airship Triple One here, and in this video today, it will be an update to one of my previous videos of the best LSAT class setup. Now, you may ask why I'm doing another setup video about the LSAT, and it's because I realized that grip on many guns in Black Ops 2, especially the LSAT, doesn't yield much of an advantage, hence throwing a point in our creator class slot away. So, rather than just attaching the red dot sight and grip with the LSAT in my last video, I'm going for a much better and wiser approach this time, and I strongly believe and know that this setup is so much better than my first LSAT class setup. So, let's get right into it. The first attachment on the LSAT that we will equip is Suppressor. Now, since this game has been out for a while now, and all the Christmas noobs have gotten used to the mechanics of the game and are much more familiar with every single map, being hidden on your enemy's minimap is quite a big advantage. This is also because that LMGs, especially with the LSAT, putting on the Suppressor doesn't reduce much range at all, so you're able to take out enemies from afar while being silent as well. And also, if you are seen on the enemy's minimap when Suppressor is not equipped, the enemies will all just charge towards you up close and there will be little chance of surviving. Alright, so with the first attachment making you feel stealthy, you want to take out your opponents quick and accurately. So the next attachment we'll use is Quick Draw. Now this is a big bonus when slapped onto the LSAT because it makes aiming down sight so much faster and with LMGs, any perks or attachments that make you faster in any way is a huge advantage. So using Quick Draw, if an enemy does catch you by surprise, you can aim down sight and spray with the huge magazine clip the LSAT has and have a very good chance of winning the gunfight. And also, thanks to the suppressor, the enemies won't even have a clue where you're shooting from as well. Now for the last attachment, and this will force you to use the primary gunfighter wildcard, and that attachment will be stock. Now this attachment will be very advantageous when it comes to close or mid-range gunfights, since you're not almost standing still while aiming down sight because of the weight of the LNG, but now with the combination of being able to aim down sight fast, being stealthy, you can now also strafe left and right, forwards and backwards while shooting with the LSAT, and it will make you a very dangerous player at all distances and a very hard target to hit. Alright, so now we have the gun set up for the LSAT. In terms of perks, it's entirely up to you guys what perks to use. As I always say, perks should be more determined by what game type you're playing rather than what gun you're using. However, there is one perk I recommend using and that will be Dexterity. Why? It's because since holding an LMG, it makes you feel like a big giant turtle and this perk can help you aid in aiming down sight faster after sprinting and also climbing over walls or objects. So basically it will minimize the chances of getting caught, getting shot in stupid situations. Alright, so coming to a conclusion of my video now, just a quick reminder, I just want to let you guys know that this class setup is not a rushing class, so don't try and act like Rambo with this class because you will eventually get shot and it's actually quite easy to get pooned if you keep rushing to the enemy spawn. This gun class is mainly focused more for people that want to take out enemies from a distance and mid-range and also be able to take care of business when they get caught by surprise in very close situations. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy my second LSAT class setup video. Um, I believe that this setup is a lot better and I know that this is better. But if you guys want to see my very first one, I'll put a link in the description below. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Anyways, if you did, please like the video. And if you want to see more class setup videos done by me, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, there will definitely be more Black Ops 2 videos out to come. Anyways, as for now, I'm out. Peace. For those of you that missed my last video, my last video was a thank you video for all my subscribers for helping me reach 500 subs. And uh, feel free to watch the gameplay, it's pretty good. You know, with the sniper, it's just like riding a bike, you know, once you learn it.